Hey, I'm back with the Tack Life 3 in 1 hand rivet tool. This is model TLRN G04HD. It's their 3 in 1, so you've got your rivets, your rivet nuts, and then your reamer. And I've already done a little unboxing video. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration. I'll just do three different demonstration videos and then uh, merge them together. So the first one, let's go ahead and let's take it out. So it's going to come to you in rivet mode, right? So it's all set up to do a rivet. Here's your other options for your other rivets, but we're gonna go ahead with what was in there. Okay, so you grab your rivet, okay? Only the, you know, you make sure it's gonna fit because only the right size are gonna fit. And of course it comes with rivets. So you're gonna go ahead and put that in here. So just, Open up the gun, get it in there, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and put a rivet in this hole right here, okay? So you're just gonna put it down like so to make sure that rivet's lined up in there, and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna push and pull. And it takes a little bit of work, um, as do all of these rivets. So you're gonna have to do it probably a couple times, and then you'll hear that rod snap eventually. And usually it's on the third one. There you go. So that's exactly what it did is it ended up, uh, it takes about three pumps and then your rivet is in there. You're good to go. All right. So that is how you use it as a regular rivet gun. Okay. Or rivet tool. All right. So next I'm going to, uh, I'm going to stop right now and then I'll start another video where I'm going to show you how to switch from rivet to rivet nut, and then we'll actually do a rivet nut here as well, okay? Okay, so I'm back with the Tack Life three-in-one hand rivet tool. I'm gonna show you how to take this and take it from rivet mode, convert it over to rivet nut, and then we're gonna go ahead and put a rivet nut, you know, right down here as a demonstration so you see how it works, okay? So we're gonna take the device, flip your case over, so that's where everything is, that's where your different mandrels are. And we're going to go ahead and go with M6 on this one. And you're also going to need your little collar right here. And then you may need this tool to get um, one of these pieces off. So you should be able to just spin this off by hand. All right. Now this piece should come off too. But if, if this was too tight, you would just take this and use this to loosen it. Okay. But we're good, you can spin that off. All right, we'll put those there. And then now, like I said, we're gonna go with the M6. So, this is what your mandrel looks like, okay? Labeled on there, M6, okay? M6 is on the bottom there as well. I'm gonna go ahead, push this in through here, okay? We're gonna push this down, and then you're gonna grab this collar, and that's the part that's gonna actually screw down. So you can just go ahead and, again, do it all by hand, and then you're, you've got it set up and ready to go. So here's my M6 rivet nuts. Again, it comes with them. So you're gonna go ahead, hold this here, and spin your nut on, and then, open it up and spin it down even more. Okay, so that you've got the top of the nut showing basically right there. All right, so now we're ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and stick our rivet nut right here. Okay, so you're just gonna push it in and then we're just gonna go ahead and push. And maybe it'll take two and then you're gonna take this and you're gonna Spin this off. So it looks like I might need to give it one more good push. All right. And then we can go ahead and screw this off. There we go. So this is just basically going to unscrew from that rivet nut. And there you go. Your rivet nut is installed. So that is how you do the rivet nut. Okay, now I'm going to stop. And then I'll do another one where I show you how to convert this to the reamer tool and we'll do some reaming on that little piece of aluminum, okay? 
All right, I'm back for one last time here. We're going to demonstrate how to convert from the rivet nut over to the reamer tool, and then we're going to go ahead and use that reamer tool with the Tack Life 3 in 1 hand rivet tool. All right, so let's go ahead and let's remove the rivet nut mandrel. So, pretty easy. Just we're going to spin this collar off. Okay, just put your collar down here. Get your M6 mandrel out. All right, so we've got that out. Let's go ahead and put it right back in the case so we don't misplace any of it. And then let's grab the reamer tool. So, we've got two choices. I'm gonna go with the gray one. So I'm gonna take that out so you can see what it looks like here. Okay, so let's, just going to go ahead and put this in and screw this in. All right, screw that in. Screw the collar on. And now we're ready to use it. So you just go ahead here and there you go. Just takes little bites out. So that shows you how this works, okay? So that is the reamer tool. This is really soft aluminum. So very, very easy to punch through that, which is nice. So again, it is, this is the Tack Life 3-in-1 hand rivet tool. That's the last demonstration. So now I've showed you how to convert it to all the different um, tools. And I've showed you how to use all the different tools. So it's a, it's a nice option to be able to do all those three things with one tool. And it comes with a really nice case. I like that. It comes with all the pieces that you need too. So great option for you if you need rivets, rivet nuts, or reaming.